everyone thanks for having me and let's begin let me share my screen thanks bsfk for the invitation and uh, let me start with a short story uh, i'm a new dad and a few months ago i was on a mission to buy some food specifically similac elementum at rite aid pharmacy elementum being the only formula my baby likes to eat and rite aid is the closest pharmacy to the place i live perfect fit right but when i approached the shelf it was empty I was so disappointed that I needed to go back home, take my car, and in the middle of the night, go to another 24 hours pharmacy. My name is Val, and I'm the founder of TechShelf. We are addressing the out-of-stock problem with our smart panels and SaaS dashboard, providing real-time data from retail shelves. And here is my plan for the next 30 minutes. I will talk about our mission, as a company and the out-of-stock problem, some current solution and why they are working. I'm going to talk about our approach to the out-of-stock solution and how we're different. After that, I will share my screen and we'll spend two minutes for real-time demo. And for the last five minutes, I'm going to talk about our vision and check out free concept. And also I'll try to answer your questions if you have any. A bit information about me. I have 10 years of experience in retail and CPG. I started my career as a merchandiser. Then I was promoted to sales representative, and then key account manager at one of the largest beer distributors in Moldova, my home country, uh, located in Eastern Europe. I worked with brands like Budweiser, Stellar Trois, Corona, and Heineken. After that, I co-founded a merchandising agency, and we became the first company providing outsourced merchandising services to distributors and brands, including Coca-Cola, Nestle, and knowing retail and distribution uh, problems and the lack of actionable data in the, interest, in the industry, in 2018, I founded TechShelf. Probably most of you heard a lot about so-called smart shelves or AI vision that identified stockouts, right? So let's dive into the problem to see why we're not seeing the technology everywhere and still encounter out of stocks in grocery stores while shopping. 980 billion, billion with B, it's, it's the total estimated loss of revenues every year due to the out of stock. Up to 50% of the items are in so called out of stock situation during weekends. Another important metric for retails is that. 27% of the shoppers will actually go to another store to buy the item they need. And 48% of retailers don't even have a way to count the impact of this problem to their sales. And as you already know from the previous slide, up to 27% of shoppers will go to another store. Uh, but what about the other 73%? Uh, what they do when facing the problem? So, if you're a retailer, you can imagine your potential loss in revenues when 27% will go to another store to look for the item they need, exactly how I did with Rite Aid and Baby Food, plus 9% that wouldn't buy anything, plus another potential 17% that will delay purchase. And altogether, you come to the 53%. That's a huge risk for your revenues. And if you're a brand, you've got the same risks of 9% that wouldn't buy anything, 17 that will delay purchase, 31% that will substitute your product with another brand and probably stick with it. And altogether, you're coming to 57% of unsatisfied customers under the risk to lose your loyalty. And besides direct sales loss, which is a consequence for both retailers and shippages, here is how the out of stock phenomenon is creating additional consequences for our target customers. For CPGs or brands, we have first a risk that the customer facing the out stock will try another brand and stick with it after. The second, it's a lower the impact of promotions and distorted perception of demand as well, which means that while you're analyzing your sales, you don't take into account how many shoppers approached your shelf, but the product wasn't there and they just left. And from grocery store perspective, there are also important things uh, at risk, including increased operational costs, because your employees are constantly working around the shelves, manually analyzing what they need to bring from the warehouse to the uh, trade floor. 
uh, here are some of the current solutions that CPGs and retailers are using uh, today. So we have independent third-party audits in most cases to perform this job. Uh, market research agencies are hiring students or other similar personnel, and you can presume the quality and the accuracy of this kind of audit. But there are AI vision-based solutions like Panzer system. You can see it in a picture. Uh, drones that will fly around the store, interfere with your customer normal shopping process, or tracks retail solution, capturing the image of the shelf with cameras from the opposite side of the shelf, or in some cases, completing this job with the help of so-called crowdsourced merchandising performance. When someone needs to actually come in front of the shelf, make the picture of it for further analysis. But I want to talk why uh, those solutions uh, aren't work, uh, don't work at scale, actually. So audits and surveys only take into consideration on shelf availability at the moment of specific audit or survey. We have ERP system tracking, and I want to explain how that works. So simply put, if sales of Pepsi in can suddenly drops to zero in an X amount of time, the system will identify this as a potential out of stock, but we can be sure in the occurrence of such prediction. Another factor is there are high cost of technologies like pants and trucks retail compared with tech shell. Uh, also, the, the AI vision can see only the first line uh, without the possibility to check the back stock and alert stock before the out of stock happens. So basically, this is the core value uh, that Tech Shelf is bringing to, uh, to, to their customers. So, and I'll get to our solution in a moment, but before we go there, let's take a look at what's really causing the out of stock. In a report published by Grocery Manufacturers of America, researchers attributed between 70 to 90% of stockouts to defective shelf replenishment practices, meaning that the product is in the shop warehouse, but someone just didn't put it on the shelf at the right time because number two is full out of stock, including shop warehouse. And cause number three is the situation when the order was placed by the retailer to the supplier, but for some reason, uh, the supplier didn't bring, didn't deliver uh, the item at the right time. So both number two and number three are just consequences of the previous wrong ordered quantity. And the reason for this loader currency is distorted perception of the demand, which in turn is caused by the lack of the data about the out of stocks and real time situation on the shelves. So as you can see, the vicious uh, circle now is closed. And our solution, as you can see in this picture, tech shelf is an easily fitted shelf mounted smart panel uh, that makes us able to ensure that shelves stay stocked and sales uh, keep flowing. It's a proprietary solution, discrete and versatile, meaning that the panel can be switched between different items within the same store. Uh, we offer increased ROI through implementation only for high value and high turnover items. Uh, and we we're offering 100% of accuracy, 100% of accuracy by tracking the back stock and not only the front uh, line of the shelf. Uh, how does it work? Uh, retailer or CPG install our smart panel on any existing shelf. Uh, the panel will connect automatically to the Wi-Fi or LTE network. And from the moment it's there, uh, our customer will receive real-time data about each and every product and key personnel will be informed about the low inventory in order to prevent it. Uh, data can be visualized through our SaaS dashboard or di directly in um, our customer's software accounting system. Here are some screens uh, of our dashboard. I'll walk you through our demo in a couple of minutes. Uh, but we know that retailers and CPGs are using a lot of tools and systems for data visualization, and sometimes introducing another dashboard can create additional friction during the decision maker process. So at TechShelf, uh, we can offer API integration with customer existing software. Uh, and another key factor that gives us additional uh, flexibility. But the out of stock is not the only problem we address. 
uh, for CPG companies, that's going to be increasing of product loyalty and sales reps optimization by giving them the real time information on what location they should pay more attention. Also, we are capable to install additional sensors that will help us count, for example, cooler door opening via actual sales and temperature inside of the cooler. Uh, for groceries, we increase store loyalty. We do staff optimization by knowing exactly which shelves need to be replenished and when. Uh, also, we can help retailers or even CPG companies with insights about which shelves are more popular uh, than the other. For example, when Pepsi is sold from several points of contact within the same store, we can identify the efficiency uh, of each of them. And as I started my presentation with the question why we don't see uh, the technology everywhere, it's just because the existing tech is more expensive than losing a sale. And at Tech Shop, we have quite the opposite situation. We have a small installation fee because the hardware is installed at its own cost. Plus, we have monthly subscription fee per foot. Our solution is versatile, meaning that the panels can be installed for different types of products and can be easily switched from one category to another within the same store. And our clients uh, don't need to equip the entire, uh, the entire uh, shop with our panels, rather install it for top 20 SKUs to reduce 80% of the out-of-stock loss. So basically Pareto principle uh, works everywhere, especially in uh, distribution. How do you work with us? So we have a few steps to be completed. First, we analyze uh, your store uh, data or uh, your sales to identify problem spots and products that are often out of stock. After that, we install our panels uh, to the identified spots, agree on KPIs, and run tests for about two to three months. Based on completed KPIs, the customer takes further decisions, so no risks except some resources allocated uh, for implementation at the beginning. Uh, yeah, let me stop sharing my presentation for a second and switch to our dashboard. Okay, so I'm uh, refreshing our dashboard. Uh, it's pretty simple. So here you have the full pictures of uh, your equipment installed. Uh, those are some average numbers, so don't pay... Um, a lot of attention to those is just for demo purposes. We have sales here. We have the out of stock and percentage for all the location. And we have the potential loss uh, due to the out of stock. Uh, we have here top point of sales that are in out of stock. You can easily switch uh, and see the daily situation, weekly situation, monthly situation. You have top stock keeping, unit, uh, stock, uh, keeping units in out of stock, also daily, weekly, monthly. Basically, we can create any type of the reports uh, based, on data, or based on data we have. And we can jump directly to our demo shelf from the map. And it will be loading right now. So here is our demo shelf in real time. Here are some products place on it, right? And here is the real-time situation right here. Uh, and I'll grab some cans from here, put it aside. I'll grab some more Dr. Pepper from here. And you'll see how in a couple of seconds, the information right here for Dr. Pepper and Coca-Cola is updated. Right, so it was 100%, now it's 84. Uh, basically, yeah, we have additional data here, such as sales, uh, stock keeping units in out of stock. We can build any type of the reports uh, based on the data we have from the shelves. And also, as I mentioned, we can uh, integrate via API directly with your software and deliver uh, raw data into it. So I will stop sharing my screen with the dashboard right now, and I will kindly ask Ignacio once again to confirm that the audience will be able to see my presentation again, because I have uh, some interesting uh, information to share with you as well. Thank you so much. 
Uh, so just a short information about our story. Uh, we are Rockstar Pre-Accelerator alumni. That's an Amsterdam-based accelerator. Uh, after that, we had our first MVP pilot test in Kyiv with Abin Bav, famous producer of Corona, Terror Heineken. And after that, we modified our technical solution, incorporating all the models and sensors into all-in-one smart panel. Um, and in that way, we reduce the high installation and implementation costs. We've learned our lesson. And uh, after that, immediately, we presented this solution and this new solution for the first time in the US market uh, at the Collision Conference. Currently, we can say that we are backed by uh, venture capitalists being part of Startup Ventures Batch 9 Accelerator program. And thanks to this program, we've got our first institutional investors and some potential clients um, in our pipeline. We can't ignore the fact that COVID impacted our journey and some of the decisions were postponed. But now we're getting back step by step uh, with, with these clients that we are seeing um, in this slide, uh, meaning we're analyzing the hot points uh, for, for pilot test. We have net cost market with eight locations in um, uh, Brooklyn and New York. Uh, we have Baltic beer distributors. We have Orson Alps, uh, premium skincare, pro uh, skincare products. Uh, of course, we are at the very beginning, uh, and we're actively looking for potential intro connections with retail retailers, CPGs for pilot tests, the pilot tests uh, in New York City, where we're currently based, and across uh, the country as well. And uh, yeah, we we have uh, a vision for the future. And current um, COVID nineteen realities made another problem of retailers even more uh, highlighted. That's why in the last couple of minutes we've got. I want to briefly share uh, the concept we just started to work on, and we're making huge steps to bring it uh, uh, to, to bring it into life as soon as possible. So, the new normal uh, dictate its own rules, and standing in line problem become a different, more serious problem. Uh, normally, retailers add more more cashiers during rush hours, but it's not cost efficient, and it's only cure the symptoms and not, not the issue itself. We are developing a cost-efficient solution that will combine our existing technology with RFID tagging, allowing our customers to check out their card in less than seven seconds. Uh, here are basic steps. I want to show you our basic steps, how it's going to happen from customer's perspective in a grocery shop where our tag will be installed. So in step one, uh, customers will enter the shop in the same way they normally would. And there is no need to scan QR code like you would do in Amazon Go uh, case. In step two, the shopping process will be absolutely the same, except one little thing that all the products will be pre-tagged with special uh, RFID tags. In step three, the customer will approach our special checkout zone, place his card with an indefinite number of products, of items for a RFID reading and open his smartphone with TechShelf mobile app installed. Uh, we've got into step four and here we will read the data from the car in up to seven seconds. Uh, we're testing uh, our equipment uh, right now in our testing location uh, and we're doing it in about seven seconds, an average uh, card uh, with um, a lot of items. And lastly, a QR code will be generated in the app for the payment. So the QR code will be scanned and our customer is good to go. Uh, how we're different, and here are the key difference between our concept, and of course we've got competitors, we got Amazon Go, we got Sensei, we got Smart Shelf, AWM, you can see in this picture, see, in this picture, if you take a closer look, it's a real sailing of an Amazon Go shop. Next time you're an Amazon Go shop, please uh, look look at the, their sailing, and you will see this. So, the other AI vision tech works pretty much the same. So there are miles of wires and hundreds of cameras on top, and there are huge server resources needed for data processing and additional sensors on the shelves. 
So all this raising up the cost of implementation for an average six, seven cashier grocery stores to $1 million. And according to the Forbes recent article, uh, for a shop with a good traffic, it will take about two years uh, for Amazon just to break even for Amazon Go. Uh, our solution is completely different. Uh, and we started with the idea that we, we know and we see how retail is evolving and how the tech around retail is evolving as well. And since we've started our journey at the end of 2017, beginning 2018, the cost of RFID tags decreased by up to four times and currently may vary between five and 10 cents per piece. Uh, with our technology, this fact gives us a huge potential for growth. And basically we're trying to reserve engineer this business process and replace the current manual checkout process with pre-tagging process, right? And understanding that in three to five years, all CPG products uh, will have track and trace solutions already incorporated in each and every product from the factory. So we will just need to adapt our tag to the RFID that will be, to the RFID tags that will be coming from the manufacturer. Uh, this is where we're going. This is definitely the trend that this is going to happen. It's, it's only the question of time. And this type of approach makes our solution scalable. You don't need to build stores and infrastructure from scratch. Instead, we plan to implement our technology for the existing shop. Uh, also, this technology can be implemented gradually. You don't need uh, to interfere with the traditional way of shopping. So some of the customers can... Uh, check out with our app and the shop owner, the grocery store owner, the chain can still uh, leave regular cashiers and reduce them only step by step as many people will, will be switching uh, to the tech shop app because uh, everyone will see that why uh, they need to stay in the line if you can just skip it because the other people are skipping it uh, with, with the tech shop app. Uh, I guess that's kind of it for today. Uh, thank you so much for having me. Uh, here is my uh, email on this final slide. Feel free to drop me uh, any questions. Uh, I will answer as many in, in, in details, everything. If you are a retailer or if you are a CPG company, you want to explore our capabilities or you would like to schedule an in-person demo, uh, drop me a line. Here's my LinkedIn profile, email, website. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me.